the in the pillow, but one day she was cleaning house and she forgot. And to give me a little break, <sighs> name everybody shout, thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together and just bless the Lord and clap. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> and she forgot the pillow was there she dumped everything because she lived close to the sea and put it in the sea so you know next time she going digging in the, the pillow full of money she, uh, she uh, another pillow she feeling all this cotton <laughs> she said something wrong here <laughs> she dumped all her money and her savings in the sea Somebody said, um, never to be recovered again. My, my, my. The moral of the story, keep some of your money in the bank. Keep some in a little something, something, something. Somebody said, uh-huh. Somebody said, uh-huh. So this is it. So somebody said, Jesus got my money covered. And he knows where to find the money. So in Matthew 17, 27, it says what? Notwithstanding that we should offend them because it was tax time. It was a tax time. Go down to the sea. That's the location of the money. And the cast and hook. Somebody say, let's go fishing. And take up the fish that first cometh up. And when thou hast opened his mouth, thou shalt find a piece of money that take and give unto them for me and for thee. Somebody say, Jesus knows where my money is hiding. Some of you got money in your house. And you have lost it. But this week, can I prophesy, you're going to find it. Somebody say, uh-huh. This week, it's going to come up from where it's hiding. And it comes so where you can find it. Somebody say, this is my week to find hidden money. Some of you ain't saying nothing. Somebody say, this is my week to find hidden money in my trunk, in my pillowcase, in my slit bed, in my bathroom, behind that little closet there, uh-huh. in that little book that's cut out. Uh-huh. I could come and help you find it. Oh, somebody want to say a thing. I know where to find it. Oh, somebody say, huh? Somebody's thinking of passing that little thief thing, huh? That's all right. So Jesus knows where your money is hiding. And the, the big thing is, prayer will reveal where your money is hiding. The reason why you're not finding that money is that you're not praying. Somebody say, aha. Uh -huh. Because when you pray, some revelation will start happening. Somebody say, aha. Uh -huh. so some creativity will start flowing. Uh, and some invention will start flowing. And God say, aha. Uh -huh. You got your money there. Aha. Uh -huh. You could create this and you could get some money here. Somebody say, hallelujah. Oh, somebody say, yes. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Somebody say, aha. Uh -huh. You know, I have a bill that I want to send it to, the pa to, to try pass for us. A bill. We might edit it. We have to edit this, but this is just for our, our senator. But now, uh, because ass. I mean, last week I, I worked so hard for two days out in my yard cutting grass. I said, Lord, have mercy. A little sheep or something. So, somebody help us with a law. Yeah, a little rooster, something. The times, I mean, you gotta know how to survive around here. Okay? And the, the, the property I bought from the guy already had flower trees. African flower trees. I could, I could eat African flowers. Man, I went through, I, I, I was cutting this week. Big trees. Zim, zim. Oh, yeah. Get rid of some of them stuff. And more to come. My wife would have to tell me which one to cut, but we're we going to put some fruits up in there. Somebody said, huh? Uh, the good, good senator now, he could look at them stuff and say, man, listen, man, we got to cut out this crap hard time. I mean, these are critical times. We got to put some, change some laws going up in there. And it's mountain. Why he lives in the mountain? And I can't have a goat. But my wife said, preach. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Sorry about that, um, good senator. Psalm 50, verse 15. Psalms 50 and verse 15. He says, call upon the Lord in the day of trouble. Somebody said, we got a call. No, but some of y'all gone dead. Go, come on, we wind now soon. Uh, well, let's get a call. Call upon the Lord in the day of trouble. What we got to do? Call upon who? Call upon the Lord. So he reminds us we got to pray. We got to call upon him in a time of trouble. 
it says in Psalm 50 verse 15, and call upon me in the day of trouble. He says, I will deliver thee. I will deliver who? Oral. Call your name. And thou shalt what? Glorify me. So when we are in, a, uh, in, in times of trouble, we are, don't worry, but call unto him. Somebody say hallelujah. He's going to answer and he's going to deliver you. Somebody say hallelujah. And everything that concerns you. We have people when they're in trouble, they curse God. They dumb down God. Oh man, man, if you are God, you want to, my God, even Christians give God a little F and K sometimes. Mm-hmm. Oh, somebody's in a time of trouble. We're going to call upon God. We're going to say, God, I'm in need of help. Everybody shout and say, help. Help. We need help. Financial help. Help in our healing. Help, help, help. Okay. In Psalm 57 verse 1, it says, take refuge in the Lord. It says, have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. For in, in, you, in your my soul take refuge, for in you my soul takes refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings. On the, uh, until the disaster has uh, passed, we're going to run to who? God. And we want to get under the shadow of his wings. We want to get up there, snug up there closer, because uh, we said this too will pass, this disaster will pass. But while it's passing, we know about the hurricanes. But God is going to protect us like a hurricane, you know. Aha, uh -huh, seven, you know, seven force hurricane coming. Number seven, but we're going to go under God and be protected. Somebody say, I'm protected. Until this disaster has what? Passed. He's going to protect us until what? This economic disaster. Uh -huh, this downturn. Until this gas disaster. He's going to protect us. I have the audacity to speak to my, my gas. It's a multiply. And it will obey me. Somebody say, uh-huh. Can say, speak to the mountain? It will obey you. Somebody say, mm-hmm. So good. So take refuge in God. We have refuge in God until what? Disaster has what? Past. God is our refuge and he is our help in time of what? Trouble. In, in Nahum 1 7, it says, God cares for those who trust in him. Somebody say, God cares for me. Somebody say, God, he cares for me. Hear what it says. It says, The Lord is good. Everybody shout that one. Say, The Lord is good. One more time, say, The Lord is good. In bad times, economic downturn, uh, upheavals, God is still a good God. Somebody say, God is a good God. It's the people who, are, who we are not praying for and prayerless people causing all this chaos. So we got to pray for prayerless people. Somebody say, uh-huh. The Lord is good. A refuge in the time of what? Trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. So once you trust in him and say, God, you are my refuge and my strength. I put my trust on you. He's going to open his wings and he's going to huddle you and he's going to brood over you and he's going to take care of you. He's going to take care of all your needs. Somebody say, hallelujah. Somebody said, that sounds good. And therefore, we've got to put our trust in him in John 10 and verse 10. As I close, it, we, we meet together. Everybody says what? We, we must receive Christ to participate in his benefits. It says what? That the thief comes to what? Only to what? To steal and to kill and to destroy. But Jesus Christ said that I am come that everyone might have what? Life. You might have life and have it what? More abundantly. So therefore, don't worry. Be happy. You need not to be afraid if God is your help helper. Trust in God and cast out fear. Take one day at a time and don't um, borrow trouble. Don't be anxious but what? Pray. Don't worry. Jesus knows where the money is hiding. Call upon the Lord in the day of trouble. Take refuge in the Lord. God cares for those who trust in him. Somebody say he cares for me. Wonderful. Bow your, bed your, bow your heads in prayer. So, Father, we just thank you for your word that declares that Jesus, he came. He said, I'm come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. We thank you, Father, that we release life to those who are in looking for life today. Life in no other than Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, that men and women all over the world, in Pakistan, in Iran, in Iraq, even as they hear this word on the streaming internet, they would put their trust in you. Folks in China, they would be able to listen to this English and, and also throw away dead gods and dumb gods. People out in the Caribbean, folks in St. Thomas, as they listen to this word, that this word that they hear would dispel fear and worry out of them. 
And then they will say, why should I worry when God is in control of my life? I'm going to be happy because he is looking over me, brooding over me. I'm putting my trust in him. And so, Father, we pray, oh God, for hearts now, Father, to come to you in the name of Jesus. And all you got to pray is, Jesus, come into my heart. Be the master and Lord.